Okay, there's two minutes left in this session and we're in the drop zone. We need a quick lap or that's qualifying over for us. We return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. I'm joined once again by Anthony Davidson to bring you the lowdown for today's race. Let me ask you about Racing Point. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Good job yesterday from Valtteri Bottas. The fin starts from pole position and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Verstappen, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Perez. Gasly, Stroll, Ricardo, and Daniel Kvyat. Albon, Sainz, Esteban Ocon and Magnussen. Norris, Grosjean, Kimi Raikkonen and Antonio Giovinazzi. The owner driver, Russell, Latifi, and Mick Schumacher. Okay, I know it's your home Grand Prix, but treat it like any other race. Don't take unnecessary risks.
Okay, that's a good start. Keep it up. is 17.9 seconds. Nick is coming in for his stop. on his last legs. Let's try to keep mileage on it to a minimum. We'll see you in Park Fermi. Here we are then, a fantastic British Grand Prix, and what a performance it was from our race winners today. So, Anthony, what made the difference out there today? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection, a shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. 
starts at the Grand Prix, I'm sure there'll be plenty of celebrations tonight amongst the Mercedes team. And they certainly deserve it. this result has had on the driver's standings. That lead at the top of the table has shrunk somewhat today. Now, let's discuss, Ants. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? That's got to be the Flying Finn. Wait, how many Flying Fins have we had now? Anyway, I'm talking about Bottas this time. Just great raw speed and a good job in traffic as well. Let's move on to the constructors. Mercedes continue to extend their lead. Meanwhile, a strong weekend from Red Bull this time out, and they improve their position in the championship. After an event like that, who knows what the sport has in store for us next time. Be sure to join us again as we continue to bring you the latest excitement in Formula One.